Following the end of EU election perda, the withdrawal agreement bill will be published on Friday, so the House has the maximum possible time to study its detail. If Parliament passes the bill before the summer recess, the UK will leave the EU by the end of July. We will be out of the EU political structures, out of ever closer union. We will stop British laws being enforced by a European court. We will end free movement. We will stop making vast annual payments to the EU budget. By any definition, that alone is delivering Brexit. And by leaving with a deal, we can do so much more besides. We can protect jobs, guarantee workers' rights, maintain the close security partnerships that do so much to keep us all safe. We will ensure that there is no hard border between Northern Ireland and Ireland. And we can bring an end to the months, years of increasingly bitter argument and division that have both polarised and paralysed our politics. We can move on, move forwards and get on with the jobs we were sent here to do, what we got into politics to do. That is what we can achieve if we support this new deal. Reject it, and all we have before us is division and deadlock. We risk leaving with no deal, something this House is clearly against. We risk stopping Brexit altogether, something the British people, something the British people would simply not tolerate. We risk creating further divisions. We risk creating further divisions at a time when we need to be acting together in the national interest. Mr. Speaker, it's now clear. The bold New Deal the Prime Minister promised is little more than a repackaged version of her three times rejected deal. I'm sure nobody here will be fooled by what the Prime Minister is offering. Throughout the last three years, she's made no attempt to unite the country. She's been focused only on keeping her divided party together, and it hasn't worked. Her time, her time has now run out. 